AC power transmission lines are a critical part of our power infrastructure. They are the most important method we use to connect our massive nuclear reactors and wind farms to power our factories, hospitals, and our homes. Our system of AC power transmission was popularized by George Westinghouse because it's a lot easier to transform voltages for higher or lower levels. This allows us to use smaller and cheaper wires on our transmission lines, unlike the DC system proposed by Thomas Edison. But what if we didn't need any wires? What if we could just beam power through the air? This was Nikola Tesla's vision. Tesla experimented with wireless power a lot. One of the ways he did so was with what we now call the Tesla coil, which he invented in 1891. Tesla was also like a super interesting person. He was a great inventor, yet struggled with money and gambling problems for pretty much his entire life. And he never married, but he did fall in love with a pigeon. No, no, like actually. Tesla also created something called the Wardenclyffe Tower, with which he hoped to demonstrate wireless power transmission across the Atlantic. Unfortunately, he ran out of money and the tower was taken from him and demolished against his will in 1917. Tesla lived a relatively long life, and he invented a lot of cool stuff along the way. One of the big ones was the AC induction motor, which was super important to making AC power actually useful, and is a big reason we use it today. The General Conference on Weights and Measures named the unit Tesla uh, for magnetic flux density after him in his honor. Okay, now back to the whole wireless power transmission thing. One of Tesla's big inventions in this area was the Tesla coil, which was capable of both wirelessly powering devices as well as creating large electrical arcs that resembled lightning. A Tesla coil is an electrical resonant transformer. It creates high voltage, high frequency, but low current AC power. Commercially, Tesla coils were used for things like spark gap radio transmitters, but Tesla also just used these things to generate lightning, uh, generate x-rays, and research alternating current phenomenon. Another thing they do, which I'm interested in, is sending power around without using wires. I think the best way to demonstrate a Tesla coil is going to be to actually build one. So let's do that. You must include a report on the demonstration and physics principle. Uh, instructions on how to set up slash use equipment to show the desired principle. So here is your step-by-step -step Tesla coil tutorial. First you've got to plug in the AC power cable, and then you can turn on the uh, okay, maybe I should label those. Okay, yeah. Now you turn on the interrupter switch, and then you can turn on the power switch. At this point the coil should start making some arcs. You can tune the arc's frequency and pulse width using the two knobs on the left side. Then you can turn on the cool switch called the voltage doubler, which will make the arcs a lot bigger. Congratulations, you're now a certified Tesla coil operator. But how does this demonstrate a physics principle? The big physics principle at play here is Faraday's law. We know that powering a coil will create a magnetic field, and we also know that a changing magnetic field will induce a voltage in a nearby coil of wire. In the Tesla coil, the primary is driven with an alternating current. That creates a changing magnetic field that induces a voltage into the secondary. And because of the difference in the number of turns, as well as some complicated resonance stuff, that voltage ends up being a lot higher than what we give to the primary. Uh, in the case of this one, it was making arcs that were like 7 inches, which roughly equates to like 500,000 volts. Okay, now wireless power. That was the whole point here. I'm supposed to be able to wirelessly power other devices using this coil. And well, I don't have a receiver coil because I am not going through the winding process of this again. I am going to wirelessly power this and maybe some other stuff. So unlike when this was sitting there, it is no longer actually plugged in, and now I'm just going to power it with the Tesla coil. <laughs> it opened Apple support. <laughs> Cool, cool, that's a Tesla coil. See you later, bye.
it has taken many steps and many man hours to get here